Good morning. Today is uh, Sunday, November 12th. This is Faith at Home with Pastor. And uh, for this Sunday and next Sunday, uh, this is two Sundays prior to the celebration of Thanksgiving. And so I wanted to have a Thanksgiving theme for our Faith at Home with Pastor. We kind of took a break from John's Gospel uh, at the end of October. We stopped at chapter 14. We're going to pick up again in January. But we're going to talk about Thanksgiving for the next few weeks and then we'll move into the season of Advent. And so, uh, so the title, I'm doing devotion from uh, Each Day with Jesus, and the, the title is Remember Your Thank Yous. But let's begin with prayer. Dear Lord, we do thank you for what you have done for us. We, you have blessed us in so many ways. And dear Lord, as we think about celebrating Thanksgiving with family and friends, help us to celebrate every day as a day of Thanksgiving for all that you have done for us. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The psalm I want to read is from Psalm 30. I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up, and have not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cry to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, O Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol. You restored me to life from among those who go down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you his saints, and give thanks to to his holy name for his anger is but for a moment and his favor is for a lifetime weeping may tarry for the night but joy comes with the morning as for me i said in my prosperity i shall never be moved by your favor o lord you made my mountain stand strong you hid your face i was dismayed to you o lord i cry and to the lord i plead for mercy what profit is there in my death if i go down to the pit Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be merciful to me, O Lord, be my helper. You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have loosed my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness, that my glory may sing your praise and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Once again, the title is Remember Your Thank Yous. During a stormy night in 1860, Two vessels, one a freighter and the other a passenger ship, collided on Lake Michigan. The latter ship, called the Lady Elgin, carried several hundred passengers. When the ship sank, the people jumped into the water, clinging to whatever came their way. Lifeboats, floating timbers, even the bass drum from the ship's orchestra. As the survivors struggled toward the Illinois shore, People from the land waded out into the water to extend a helping hand. Participating in the rescue mission was a university student by the name of Edward Spencer, an expert swimmer. During the early morning hours and through the day, young Spencer succeeded in rescuing 17 persons from her watery grave. But so great was the strain that he had lost his health and spent the rest of his life in the wheelchair. In later years, this hero for a day was asked what he remembered most about that tragic day. He replied, I recall the fact that not one of the 17 rescued persons thanked me for saving their lives. Jesus Christ sacrificed his life to rescue us from sin and death. Have we thanked him? Is our thanksgiving by words accompanied by thanks living? And do we live our thanks by giving ourselves for others? The Apostle Paul tells the Philippians in chapter 4, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the God of peace, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we do thank you for all that you have done for us. You have truly blessed us. And dear Lord, once again, help us to be a blessing to others. Help us to not only thank you, but in thanks living, that we can live our thank yous in our service to one another. And by serving others, we are serving you. Lord, go with us and bless us always, Lord. We pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining us, and we'll look forward to seeing you next Sunday. And we'll continue with a Thanksgiving theme uh, one more Sunday. And then afterwards... Uh, we'll be moving closer to the season of Advent.